So we're now joined by Forge FC franchise goal leader, Tristan Borges. Uh, we'll start off with Charlie O'Connor. Go ahead, Charlie. Um, yeah, I mean, I know you've already talked to Mackenzie about it, but... Uh, Twice. Uh, and then you've, you've spoken several times about it, but, you know, how does it feel to be this, this club's all-time leading scorer again, I guess? Uh, it's something special, uh, especially just knowing um, how much the club has achieved so far. Uh, very, very proud to be a part of a lot of that success. Um, uh, people that know me from day one, it, it's, it's always been about winning. Uh, and if I can contribute to that, whether it's goals, assists, or even honestly just playing as best as I can, um, that's that for me is, is, is the most important thing. Um, uh, just how I am, as happy as I am to obviously be, you know, have accomplished that, I'm still looking at myself and, and kind of disappointed about the PK that I gave up. And, that, and that's just kind of how I am. I, I, I know I'm taking away a clean sheet from uh, from my goalie, especially the performance that we put in. I, I think I think we deserved a clean sheet. Um, and um, but obviously it's something special, you know, that uh, of what I've accomplished. And uh, I like to look at these things at the end of the year once I have some time to kind of wind wind down and, and relax and spend some time with my family and, and be very grateful for it. Uh, you guys have 31 points in 12 games at home this year. Just what has made you guys so comfortable playing on this pitch this season and you know how you know big of a factor has that been in the success yeah um kind of what i was uh, i was saying before was that i think the biggest thing so far that i at least see with the group this year is we've been executing uh at pretty much a high level right and and, and uh you know both offensively and defensively we've been putting in a shift every single game uh not really looking at excuses understanding there's going to be ups and downs and i think every single year we always kind of hit our peak and I, I think for this year, we've been kind of staying at that, at, at, at that point, right? So uh, for us, it's, you know, at the beginning of the year, we set ourselves uh, high goals. And, you know, we, this club already has been playing in big games. And, and for us, it's all about championships. And we understand that uh, one way to, you know, reach a goal that we want also for next year for the club, which, which is Champions League, is finishing first, right? I think that's, that's important. But, you know, we really don't think too far ahead. We kind of just go game by game, and, and we understand that if we continue playing at the level that we know we can, you know, uh, three points should be uh, a must every single weekend. Uh, congratulations on the two goals. Uh, very impressive. Uh, every time we see you in the field, it seems like you're going to score. It's like no matter <laughs> what. It's, who's going to score? Tristian. Uh, uh, are you trying to replace probably Poku you know when Poku was here he was every mm -hmm. time he was scoring two goals two goals and now you are probably taking that initiative and can you describe us a little bit the the pass from Para to yourself and how that happened and how the magic came from you to score uh I think it's it's just the gel that we have I think the work that we put in every single day getting that connection that chemistry that we have with each other um kind of playing a little bit I would say a different position this year at least um, but I think it's just the chemistry that we have I think when you when you have quality players on the field that see the game the same way you know it, it's, it makes it a little bit easier uh, to be on the same page and I think it's 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 obviously a, a beautiful touch from Benny as well and, and I think the connection that me and Benny have had since he's uh, since he's joined the club has been has been great um, but I think it just kind of goes back down to uh, quality players you know uh, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of have a, a, a good connection on the field and, and, and uh, trying to reach the same goal is, is, is obviously important and it's three points. But um, I think, yeah, kind of just going back on, on, on what I said, Danny's obviously a, a quality player. Benny's a quality player. We have we've call, uh, quality all over the field, right? So, um, like I said, it just, uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to kind of have that connection on the field. After you scored the first goal, it wasn't a little bit frustrating that no matter what you guys were doing, the, 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 you guys were not able to come out with another goal, even though you guys have a lot of possession during the game? Yeah, I th yeah, but I think for us, it's, it's, we know what the game plan is. I think the shift that we put in today was, was, was great. Again, uh, defensively, as a team, we played amazing. Uh, Jazz had some good saves as well to kind of keep us in the game. And, and we knew that uh, they obviously always have energy, especially when we play them. Um, but you know, like uh, like you guys already know, we've been playing a well, uh, very good at home, and uh, we just kind of wanted to take that energy and, and, and match it. And we know football wise, we have a lot of quality. So, Borges, you spoke to it a little bit a second ago with the touch that Benny mm -hmm. assisted you with. Can you speak a little bit more on 
what he provides in the number nine position and like the dynamic that you guys have? Yeah, uh, yeah, Benny. <laughs> I think everyone can see the quality that he has, how comfortable he is on the on on the ball, not afraid to take anybody on, not afraid to try things, and and. I think one thing I would say a lot of people don't really realize with him because you know maybe everybody kind of sees the 1v1s or, or, or the skills. I think his vision is, is a little bit underrated and him seeing the field, seeing where players are, uh, you know, trying to make the right touch, the right pass, maybe it's taking one on one. But I think, uh, like I said before, that connection that I think me and Benny have, have, have created is, is something special and, and we've, we're, we're kind of on the same page and it's, it's, it's all about winning and having success together, right? And I think that's obviously the best way to reach our end goal and, and, and he's been great since he's been here and, and I hope uh, we just continue to stay healthy, obviously, because that's the most important thing for the rest of the year and, and yeah, we keep going. Yeah, one other thing, a lot of you and your teammates have been talking about how even though August was really congested, you kind of got into the flow and got into the rhythm of that schedule and it was weird having eight days in between this game yeah. and one against Pacific. So how happy do you think your like the coaching staff and your teammates will be with this result given kind of a, a weird stop start time? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're used to kind of having either uh, a tough schedule or a full schedule. Uh, we've been kind of doing it every single year. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, those are kind of games that you want to play in, competition games. And, uh, you know, uh, for me, me personally, I'd rather play uh, game after game than, than, than train, right? Games are obviously exciting to be a part of. And, and we knew that August was going to be a little bit of a tough month. Um, but we have quality across the whole board. You know, players coming off the bench, players coming back from injury, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's kind of a plug and play uh, scenario that we have here. And, and like I said, we have, we have quality all over the field. And... and I think Bobby's done a great job of kind of rotating a little bit with certain players and, and players have stepped up. Um, and I think even a great example, last game, Noah Jensen scoring two goals. Um, those are just kind of small things that I feel like everybody kind of just expects Forge to just kind of win every single game. But we're the ones that, you know, go in every single day and we have to try to find different ways to win. We know everybody's going to kind of put their, their best foot forward when they play against us. And for us is to try to match that and, and believe in ourselves and have that confidence that we're part of a winning franchise and, and we just want to go and do it again. Okay. Thanks, Gorgeous. Thanks, Gorgeous. Good. Okay.